Hey guys, we're back with episode 36-1, uh, depending on what exactly happens, because I don't know. We've just finished the season with Leicester City. We have just won the treble. We have won the Premier League. We've won the FA Cup, and we have won the Euro Cup. What a season. That's my best season in quite some time. So let's do our end of season review. We've got some emails to look at for record-breaking processes so let's get into it all right our transfers in cesar looks like we got him on a free uh, yeah we did get him on a free so if we can sell him for anything we make money right all right aminu baffer 21 years old cost us 36 and a half million another great season 29 goals and 30 assists between them <laughs> Stadinovich goes off on loan. LeCompte, Kelly, none of them cost a lot. Fred Mapasi shouldn't have bought him, but we had to blow some money, and that was the money blow. Uh, he is a 21-year-old uh, player, but uh, yeah, I bet we got a pretty poor grade on him. Mm, we're not even getting a grade on him. Probably they're, they're stunned at the $74 million price tag. Uh, Felipe, wow, really? All right, let's reboot that. There we go. All right, so Mapasi, we get a B minus. Felipe, we get an A minus. That was pretty good. A lot of younger players. Jamie Davis, 16 year old center back. He was another money blow, uh, 43 million, and only because he was English. Uh, let's see, anybody else in here? Not really. That's it there. Transfer outs. Uh, Gomez Santos, 18.75 million. We got a C grade. Didi, 5.75 million, a B minus grade. Chasson, 23.5, a B minus grade. Mikatin, 41.5 million. And really, really disappointed to have to move him, but you couldn't pass on that money. Uh, Pablo Mani, 16 million. And Kowalski, 47.5 million. Uh, still a C minus grade. Uh, we got an A plus from the board for our results. Noel Mark was the top scorer in the Premier League with 31 league goals. Uh, still did not sell out every match, but we were expected mid table and we won it all. Uh, we were expected to reach the quarterfinals. We won it. Still didn't sell it, sell out every home match. Noel Mark 18 Euro Cup goals this year. In the FA Cup, reached the fifth round, but we won it. Again, 99% capacity, seven goals for Mark. And the Carabao Cup, not important. We did reach the third round, and Eric Graves with one goal as we went out to Rotherham in the first round on penalties, if you remember that one. Uh, there are the scores of the year. Uh, we have gone from continental to worldwide reputation. So that is good. I'm sure they'll get some new sponsorships coming in. Uh, six and a half million in merchandise sales, 573,000 jerseys sold. Romain, number one, Mark, Graves, Jasufi, and Baffer, the top five kits. All right, there's how we lined up most of the year. Wheel, Fowler, Hildon, Licka on the back line, Solis in goal, Felipe and Jasufi in the mid two. Baffer Romain in the at attacking wingers and Graves and Mark up top. I was named head coach of the month for September and January. Also premier division head coach of the year. Uh, Noel Mark, fans player of the season, young player of the season. Cesar was the signing of the season and he's probably gone after one year because of his immature attitude. Aminu Baffer, goal of the season. Noel Mark, the top goal scorer with 56 goals total and Romain, 31 assists in the competitions. Mark, the European Golden Shoe, the Premier Division top goal scorer. Mark, the young player of the season for English players and the Euro Cup Player of the Season, and the Euro Cup Golden Boot. Record breakers, most overall goals, 56 in a season, so that's a record breaker. Most assists, 31, and Noel Mark, 16 Player of the Match awards. We did win the treble, and there you see all the records that have fallen. Players inducted into the Leicester Best 11, 
Uh, Eric Graves is the pick of players. He has 128 appearances and 101 goals. Romain, Wheel, Mark, and Solis were honored to become part of the proud history. Mark is only on the bench. Uh, these guys must be awesome, and I don't know who they are. All right, what else? Club Vision, we're not really worried about that. All right, they only want mid-table next year and the first knockout round of the Champions League. So, mid-table, good reaction, and knockout, good reaction. I won't see you, but you don't know that yet. Uh, we sweep the Euro Player of the Season Awards, Mark, Graves, and Hildon. Mark and Graves go 1-2 in the Golden Boot. And the Euro Cup squad of the season. Uh, the only one not is uh, from FC Porto uh, at left back is Miro, but uh, you have some standard Liege, Matambo, Burrell, and Diaz. Everybody else is a Leicester player. All right, so the transfer window opens in a week. So I would like to be ensconced in a new job if I can. Our board, uh, our, our uh, general manager is offering out contracts. That's fine. And the facilities have been downgraded. Uh, so let's request improved training facilities before I leave. That way we can make sure that gets done. They rejected it. Well, you know what? This would be, even with winning, I'm going to go in and discuss it. Technology. All right, so they are going to do it now. Damn, well, problem is that was going to be my out. They weren't going to do something for me, and I was going to quit. <laughs> but they caved. They caved. Um, I'm going to decline that. All right, well, let's go ahead. Let's take a look real quick. Let's go into the job center, job security. That's where I want to go. Only head coaches. That's good. All right, so we have available jobs. So Man City's available. I don't see the need to go there. They've won the Premier League a million times. Not a club that I think Bielsa would entertain. Uh, Stoke have come up. Uh, where they finished 17th this year, just missing relegation. They've come out of the championship, and kind of like Leicester, just have not gotten over the hump. Now they, you know, remember Leicester was in the championship when we took them over and got promoted first season. When's the last time they won anything? 2038 to win the championship. 35 winning League One. So they haven't won anything in a while. So that's that's one we could look at, but yeah, you know. How about Levante? They're in the Spanish First Division, but they're only three-star. So they've been a League Two side, Second Division. They got promoted in 53-54, immediately relegated, finished third, and then won the league this year. Now, what do their head coaches look like? So he left the head coach's role. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't say he's interim, does it? It does not say he is the interim position. He has been their interim manager like forever. So I think he is an interim manager. That would be an interesting thing. They have never won the first division. They have only won the second division, including this year. So I wonder where did Ruben Nieves go? He has gone to Nuremberg in Germany in the Bundesliga 2. All right, so that's weird. Why would you go to a Bundesliga 2 side with your club getting promoted to the Spanish first division? So that's interesting. And they've never finished. I mean, they've been immediately relegated both to, uh, the one time they made it. That's an interesting club. They have great training and youth, which is important. Finances are secure. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I want to see. I'm only favored personnel. Come on, guys. 
what does somebody have to do? We just won the treble. So Levante could be an interesting job. Sevilla, now they've been a first division, but just bouncing. They actually crashed down into the third division before climbing back up, and then they were mid-table last year. I would lean Levante, but Sevilla having gone down to second division would be interesting. All right, so there are some clubs in here. I don't want to go back to the Netherlands. We've done that. I did not enjoy my time in the Bundesliga. Don't know why. Not sure. Let's see. Gillingham made it to the championship. Now, are they getting relegated this year? Yes, so they're getting relegated. So probably not interested in that job. Lincoln. Now, Lincoln was in the premiere for a run and then fell out, and then they've kind of been going back and forth. They finished ninth in the championship this year. Superb, state-of-the-art. Not a big fan of red kits, though. All right, well, let me look around. So there are some jobs that are at least of interest. Uh, always, always like the metal job, you know. Wolves, Wickham. Wickham finished 20th, which means they're getting relegated as well. No, they're not. They are not. Were they um, mid -table, lower half, mid-table, 20th? Yeah, kind of falling apart. All right. Um, so, yes, I am going to uh, go and resign. I am going to resign. Boom. That's going to stun everybody. Oh, my God, what happened? So they're looking at uh, Ryan Sawyer from Fulham. Fulham finished, uh, Fulham won the championship last season. So they're coming up to the premiere. They're also looking at David Silva from Lille. They finished third in League Un. Now, oh, I just noticed PSG lost that year. I didn't realize that. So PSG, look at this. PSG has dominated this. Remember, we did a plus 30, right? So counting real life, look at the run PSG's been on in real life. Only one loss since 2011. Since we moved ahead, plus 30, so from 2020 to 2050, it was all PSG. And then they have won it every year with one exception, that being Lil. Grenoble's gotten up in there. So this would be an interesting challenge at this point to take a League Un side and try to challenge PSG. That would be interesting. So uh, let's see. Coach Norbert Ger Gergley. Uh, he's a great coach. I like him. What a man. What a man following me out, to, falling on his sword for me. I like that. We're going to write his name down. That might be my new assistant manager. Maybe that's how I reward him. And he actually has good judgment of ability, too. All right. So let me get into things. Let me see what happens. I don't really know what I'm looking for, uh, but I'm intrigued right now. Of course, I, lo I like England. I know the teams there better, but I'm kind of intrigued by that League Un in France to see if we can challenge. PSG. Now, Lille would be probably the best team because you saw they had a lot of runner-ups, third place finish, and then they're the only side in the last 60 years to win the league. That would be a club I think we could do it with. It's going to depend on who gets the Leicester job. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording, jump ahead, and we'll come back when we have some news. Hope you guys enjoyed the Leicester season and the Leicester save. I really had a good time, and I think we ended up on a high note, and it's a perfect time for me to do my Bielsa step away. Well, it has been an interesting off offseason. Uh, we're only at July 3rd, so I've only been out of work for a little less than a month. Um, PSG offered me an interview, of course. They are the dominant team in France. The worst thing is 
no other clubs in League Un came available during this entire process. Uh, I guess everybody else is just happy being behind PSG, uh, but they they I believe they sacked their coach. I did not take that job, uh, but looking at head coaches, uh, so everybody leaves. The last guy has been there for uh, almost five years, and he's taken the job at Chelsea. The Chelsea manager was sacked. Uh, Minori, he was okay. sacked after. So Minori was sacked within a year uh, from Chelsea. So, and then he has gone on to Bayern Munich, uh, which was a club that I was linked to. Uh, their coach retired. Now it says 21 years, but remember, this was a non playable league. I didn't want to go to the Bundesliga. I did not want to go to the Bundesliga. So, but taking a look at our weekly job updates, PSG, uh, Leipzig. Uh, Leipzig's still looking for a coach, but you can see they've won the league several times. They've never really been a threat to not be in the top couple of positions. Not really a Bielsa match, I don't think. Sparta Prague, uh, you know, so there were a couple of jobs in there. I went ahead and went on the PSG interview just to do it, but we had already interviewed and we have gotten a job offer. And it's one of the clubs that we looked at initially. And it is. Levante, the Frogs. So the biggest problem is they want defensively solid soccer. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I don't know. That, I don't know that my guys play defensively solid football. So a transfer budget of just under 10 million, a payroll budget of just under 4 million, a promise to keep the general manager in place, which I'm okay with. Develop players using the club's youth system. Uh, play direct football, play counterattacking football, uh, work within the payroll budget. They only want us to fight bravely against relegation. So let's take a look at them. Uh, I'm going to accept the job. Uh, worst case is I might delay it a week and see if another F French job comes open, but none of the jobs are even on edge right now. The only other French jobs are in the league three or the you know whatever the third tier is and i don't think i want to drop down that far so what got my attention here with uh levante they've won the spanish division four times uh most of those uh since uh we started doing the plus 30 portion of this save so 2004 2017 in real life 2024 and then 2057, the most recent year, getting promotion uh, twice in the last four years. They have never won the first division. And the last time they made it up, they got relegated the very next season uh, and then didn't did not get promotion and then won the league this year. So they have never been more than one season in the first division. And you can see going all the way back to 2036. The last 20 years, they have not been a first division side with the exception of that one season. So that's the first thing. This is a club that we can build into something better, hopefully. They have great training facilities, excellent youth facilities, uh, national reputation. Finances are secure. They're not rich. So I don't know exactly what that means. I don't know if they're in the negative. I don't know if they have a debt load. I have no idea. Uh, just a couple of favored personnel, so it should be able to get. We should be able to get into that pretty close, pretty quickly. Uh, Villarreal is, I believe, the club that we. Yes, the ceramic stadium. Uh, it's a yellow stadium. That is a club that we have managed in a previous, I believe, FM nineteen. I believe so. That's one of our other rivals. Uh, Alicante, Castellan, Aishi, and Valencia is our fierce rival, and they are local uh, as well. They are a national reputation side, as are we, but only three-star. So let's go ahead and take the job. I would like to negotiate this defensively solid football out. 
So fight bravely against relegation this year. Develop the best youth system in the country. They're going to have to spend money to do that, which means we're going to have to make money and be profitable. So let's start negotiations. Evidently, those are not negotiable. That's disappointing. Work within the payroll budget, not a big deal. Everything else is doable. Avoid relegation. 204. Start going. And yeah, I don't know. Do I, do I go Bielsa and only ask for a one-year contract? Okay, they want a three-year deal. All right, that's fine. Uh, how about only a 30%? In fact, I only want 25%. All right, they take that. I will do it. And we are, once again, employed. Lester is still looking for a coach, but we are at Levante, the manager of the Frogs. Eyebrows have been raised. I have not spent, I spent three weeks away from club soccer, and it was the off season. Hello? Andrew Coleman considered to be the favorite for the job. That was until I voiced my opinion that I was going to be interested in the job. Oh, that's right. Hold on. Are, we are. That's right. I don't think we, we got, we did not get relegated this year. All right. The Valencia, the Ciotat de Val Valencia. I'm going to have to, you know, I don't speak Spanish, so no clue. Uh, but I'm, I'm not even sure what that means. Uh, much smaller stadium, 26,000 capacity, great training, excellent youth, good youth recruitment. They were knocked out in the third round of the Spanish Cup and finished in the 16th position in the first division last year. So they're going to be in this, in this first division for the second straight year, not relegated, but didn't do very well. Top earner is Rafael Garcia, our number nine. I could probably make do with that. He can be an advanced forward. I'm okay there. So we'll go through the roster, fight bravely against relegation. Go ahead and send all that out off camera. Sure. All right. I need to go through this. So we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. Let me get into the off season. So next episode will be a transfer special and the opening match of the new season. So I'm excited. I always like the, the uh, first season of transfers. I like transfer season in general, but uh, we're going to have to come in, see who we've got here. And you know, the first thing I want to do is who is our best scout? Well, I've only got one <laughs> and I've got room for three more. So I need to be, Posting jobs, place advertisement for scouts. I've already got a chief scout. Coaching team. I do not have an assistant coach. All right, so what was that guy's name? There he is. Norbert Gurgley. Remember, he left Leicester. So let's offer him a job. What? You quit and you're not going to come work for me? You suck. Jesus. All right. Well, I do need to place an advertisement for a assistant coach. I need a goalkeeper coach. Yes. I need a fitness coach. And I need general coaches. Just lots and lots of coaches. We have room for seven. So we will get that going. And what about medical? Let's go ahead and place an advertisement for a physio. We'll do that. And everything else we'll do off camera here. All right, so I will do everything off camera here. We'll get some coaches hired. Uh, we will go through all of the guys that are coming up in contract to see if we want to re-sign anybody, determine what positions. We should look at that real quick, though. Uh, head of youth development, we'll go with that. Already, it looks like I probably, actually, his, uh, he's not bad. I can live with that. He looks like a decent enough keeper. And Trent Edwards is actually a better passer. 
Uh, so if we wanted to go sweeper, he might be the guy. We've got uh, Garay, probably more of a right side, but he can play the left. Okay, so he could play over there. Kovac on the right side. He's actually defensive-minded. Garay, we already talked about. Albi Fernandez. He is a short center back, but he can play right back as well. Kovac is also a center back there, six foot four, like him. Probably looking at Guerrero as our number two. I like Navarro. He's got a lot of pace and a better crossing. He might be our no, he might be our left guy. So maybe we move Garay to the right. Abel Fernandez. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, let's see. We are pretty weak on the left. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Let's let's go to the Premier, and I want to look at Leicester. Team report, please. Under 23s, please, and under 18s, please. All right, just to get a team report, see who might be available. Uh, who they've transfer listed, if anybody. I definitely see a need on the left wing, and I know Lester has quite a few players that we would be really happy to get. Uh, right side, they have Santine. He can pass the ball. He's got really good dribbling. I think he's more of a central mid, although he can cross. Enrique, he's a number 10 if we wanted to go that route. Sagoba is pretty good. Santine could slot in there. Gonzalez, I like him. He looks really good. And how old is he? 21. Okay. Brian Ibanez, he could be a striker, but he could be a winger. Garcia, probably a better striker. So that could be Garcia. And then we could move Ibanez out. If we wanted to go with an attacking wing, what about a how about a four two? Not not the one I'm looking. Oh, that's four five one defensive. Not what I'm looking for. There we go. Four one three two. No, I don't want the defensive mid. There we go. Four two three. No, not that one either. That one. There we go. That's the one I'm wanting. All right, so Ibanez would be best on the left wing. That leaves Gonzalez and Garcia in the mid, in the striker. Enrique at the number 10, or Segoba. And then we would have Santine and Enrique in the mid with Martinez off the bench, and he looks pretty solid, 18 years old. Garcia, so that would leave Santine on the right. He's actually not bad on the right, but that would be a place. Could we get Romaine in there? Could we get Romaine in there? That would be really good. So that's an option. We could, and you know, now that we're starting from scratch, I could be happy with a one striker setup if we could get this to work. That's the big thing. All right, well, let me get into it. Hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know what you think about the move. Uh, I know it's not the traditional journeyman where you're moving up. The goal there would have been to go to Leipzig, PSG, one of those kind of clubs. But again, this is a Bielsa journeyman, and it's going to where it's an interesting job. And interesting is not, for him, is not always the best club out there. If you look, he's historically never coached at the best jobs. He didn't take the Brazil national job. He was, you know, at one of the lower, you know, lesser countries in South America, Argentina. Not that they were bad. They did very well with him. But, it, you know, if you go Argentina or Brazil, it's Brazil, right? Um the Spanish sides, he didn't go to the top clubs. He went to the second tier clubs in the, you know, in the first division. So I think this fits in with that mindset, probably a little lower than he would actually do. But still, I think it works in the mindset that I have to have for this save. 
And I hope you guys enjoy that. I think it is something different. So, hey, next episode, we got a lot to cover. Transfers, first match of the season. Let's get to it. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell to stay up to date for daily football manager content here on the channel. Let me go get my work done, and we'll see you guys next episode. Take care. Bye.